Howdy everybody uh, out there in YouTube land. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, lovely Toyotas and the situation you might run into with a gas tank. So this is a 94 and um, the fuel lines coming out of this um, fuel hanger, uh, pump hanger I believe they call it, were bad. Um, the primary line basically um, was kind of rotten right around here and it was pissing a tiny bit of fuel. Um, so had to uh, pull the bed, which I recommend. I had to weld up the frame anyways and got the old tank out. I put this new one in. I used, um, and I recommend everyone do this uh, if you want to make your trucks last a little bit longer. Um, I, I used a Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer and I primed the brand new tank. I then put um, two to three-ish coats of, um, of uh, 3M professional grade undercoating. You can get that on Amazon. I believe a case of six is um, 50 bucks and I definitely recommend that. Uh, matter of fact, I'll show a picture of, I think I got an empty, empty can here. So um, that's what you want. Sorry about the shaky cam here. I'll try to So that's what you want, 16 ounce. Um, it goes, it goes on pretty good. Um, and it doesn't have too much overspray, but I threw a little bit on the frame here as well. Um, I still recommend a chassis saver or something on the frame. But anyways, so um, the trouble that people are going to run into is the 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 main fuel line is garbage. Uh, with these trucks unless they're not in an environment where they're getting hit with uh, salt and everything um, so I managed to track down a um, a new line uh, they're about 60 bucks give or take depending if you can get them to your dealer but I think I'm gonna go custom um, AN route with fittings um, and make my own line. I think that will be better. Uh, the one thing that you'll definitely have trouble, I had to get this from um, directly from Toyota. Uh, this this is what what you're looking at when you're working on your truck. You're going to have this male end which um, is inverted flare. I don't know if you can, if I can get the camera in there, if you can see it or not to get a light, but that's in so that's inverted flare uh, metric um, geez I think 14 maybe I'll have to f find out for sure to let let you guys know but um, so you can get this union uh, and then you can use your your factory Toyota line and and go to um, when you get to the front of the truck having said that uh, I'm going to go a different route and use AN stuff when that gets here in the mail and um, I'll make another video about that which is what I recommend but I was able to salvage a piece of line um, and this goes this goes towards the um, to, to the uh, you know to the top of the, the engine it sits it sits on the on the frame like this and then this part uh, goes up to the uh, to a union that then goes to a soft line, which then goes into the uh, uh, manifold and whatnot. But um, I was able to get um, I was able to get get this out uh, relatively easy uh, after soaking it for a couple of days in croil. I believe that's how you uh, you say it. Uh, honestly, you could probably use ATF and acetone and make your own if you don't want to spend 14 bucks or whatever it is on the can. But um, so I'm going to take this line um, and I picked up this Earl's fitting. 
so this will will go to AN6. Um, basically, it's it's compression. So this will will go on here like so. Uh, well, first you get this on, and then this would go in, and then this would crank down on it, and that's going to turn this line into. Uh, something I could use, and then I'll I'll reuse the existing mounts. Um, I'll paint paint the uh, the line and stuff, um, but I'll then use this line, and then and then this will be converted to AN6, and then I got another Earl's adapter that will take the uh, inverted flare from the male end of the tank to AN6, so it'll be this end here and I will make uh, custom braided stainless fuel and just be done with it and tuck it up out of the way and uh, fuel system should be good so just some tips um, I picked up basically it'll, it'll look like this this is the wrong one I'll save it for another project but so this is exactly what it will be like uh, the only difference is that's as you can tell not inverted flare um, but this this obviously will thread on uh, like I said I think it's 14 by 1.5 pitch thread um, pretty easy to find that on the internets but yeah so this this will come off um, Toyota did a running line change it looks like because before this used to be a plastic um, a plastic line with some kind of goofy fitting but so this will your inverted flare will go onto here like so and then you got AN6 here and then you'll make you'll make a line and then you can pass it uh, up top of the tank which I think would be a better location and then I plan on putting clips um, possibly on the top of the cab that way to keep everything out of the the way of salt and nasty stuff um, but um, I will post in the in the uh, under under the video I'll post all the information about what I picked up because it, it's kind of tricky to get get this fuel system right uh, especially with these older trucks it's it's definitely harder to find the right parts um, the factory line can be put in but it's got so many wild bends in it that it would be very you know it'd be very hard to get it in unless you you know pull your tank and um, you know you might even have to move stuff out of the way with um, uh, different lines and whatnot, so I, I feel like converting it to um, to AN6 will just will just be the way to go. Uh, so at least it's an option for you. So we'll post more here when we move on. But again, this is you know a compression type, and then this this will be the ma the f excuse me female end that will go on the um, tank side. Uh, should be good to go. You should be able to reuse um, your existing line unless it's really, really rusty. I want to say, um, I mean, 3.19, that's basically 5 sixteenths, I believe. So you can you can still get line. This was from inside of the, um, the fuel tank for the fuel pump hanger. The, the pipe was actually in, in pretty good shape still so you know you try to piece together and use what you can but uh, if you if you have any questions or comments definitely um, leave them below to try to answer them uh, I really wish Toyota still made little trucks like this I don't have the need to drive a one ton all the time or get out the old uh, you know full-size machine just to pick up some you know pallets or a load of wood or something um, it's kind of a shame we can't get these trucks anymore so we try to keep them on the road for as long as possible but uh, so yeah we'll get some videos of that going and um, I know I've gotten emails with some uh, regard to getting uh, uh, the V8 going the 408 and hopefully Raj will be back and uh, once we get this knocked out um, we'll try to get get cracking on the uh, 408 again so I appreciate all the kind words and questions Raj uh, has a good time answering them and uh, if he had um, more I guess uh, skills using a computer he would probably take some videos himself so we're gonna try to do that one of these years as well 
Uh, hope everybody has a good New Year's. Till then.